I feel like mental health in the schools is just something that's not a top priority for schools because it's mostly about academics and getting those scores on those particular tests like certain schools they may teach to the test and so they're just looking at students to make sure that they are reaching that goal and that's kind of what they base their curriculum on and or those students personal goals the piece with mental health which is really strange that schools don't have it as a top priority because it really affects the students academic skills because if you don't have if you think of like maslow's hierarchy of needs you have on the bottom you have those things that you basic needs you know like sleep food shelter love those things if a student does not have those things they can't move up a level to be able to even learn and or be successful so a lot of students that I work with it's very difficult in terms of working with the school when their focus is academics but we have to um, address the mental health and that's why I really love my job is that I'm able to do that but it's not a lot of times a priority in a school and so since COVID I would say it hasn't I wouldn't say that schools have necessarily changed in the types of resources that they're offering, but I think that they're more aware that it's very important and maybe trying to figure out what that looks like in their school. A lot of times now I have schools that just have so many referrals of students that even parents have identified that there's a concern and or teachers and a lot of it doesn't even have to do with academics. You know, it's like something's going on or they're not at school or there's some sort of trauma that occurred during COVID that's now affecting their academics. And so schools are more so like, oh, this is a referral of a student that, you know, maybe you should talk to or they refer them to special education, which is also not the best um, the option. But a lot of times in schools, they feel as though that's the only option. Um, so I think what has changed is just the awareness that it is very important. But in terms of implementing those changes into schools, I really haven't seen that. I know schools are needing more social services. So like they need more school psychologists, they need more counselors, they need more social workers, but it's a shortage. And so I still get, like I got a call last week for a new school. You know, everyone is still looking. And so everyone's over capacity and I think they know that they need additional support, but what that looks like and how they are sourcing those things definitely differs by the school.